All right, we are unpausing. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, so there was a fire. Granny has joined the Thotties gang. What? What? Aw, oh, Bobby, did you get your weave snatched again? Fantastic. Great. Oh my god, a Tyron fire. What is happening? Oh, okay. Oh, there's a dead. Okay. Somebody died. Bentley. Who's Bentley? <laughs> Who's Bentley? Ah, The Sims. I feel like I've done pretty much everything in The Sims. I've explored all the packs. I've made super long various series. I've explored mods. I've even become my Sim in real life. But there is one thing that I have not done, and that is I have never let my Sims take control. But today that all changes because I am going to accidentally leave my Sims game unpaused all night long. So I'm basically going to set up a plot in The Sims, and then I'm going to leave it while I sleep and see what happens. So I saw this idea from Lil Simsy, and I was like, I have to do that. I watched hers, and I saw Steffo Sims version. Very different, but both linked in the description below. Make sure you go watch them. So I have gathered ideas and tips from watching both of theirs in order to make sure that this one is as entertaining as I can possibly make it. Because I do not want to come back and have my Sims just have done nothing, except for like peed all over the floor and break everything, which is most likely what's gonna happen. All right, so here's our house that we're gonna be playing with or not playing with. It's just the Brook bungalow house that already is generated in the Sims world. And I have put together what I hope to be the most interesting family to leave alone autonomously in the Sims and see what happens. First up, we have me, of course. And oh my God, we're wearing the same shirt. Wow. I'm really happy to be drinking juice right now too. Look, look how happy I am. We have Bobby, who looks like he's gonna kill somebody. Oh, he's shifty AF. What, what are you doing? Maybe he's shifty because our other roommate is this, um, I don't know. Okay, so hear me out. I wanted to try and get like one of every type of sim, or not every type, but the most different types of sims in this house to see what would happen. So I really wanted an elderly sim and I was like, oh, I'll get granny, you know, from the granny app game. And I searched on the app store and found, uh, I actually don't know what gender they identify with. So this is just, it's just granny, okay? Don't ask questions, it's, it's granny. So we have an elder in the house. And then we have Randall. Now Randall, I just randomly adopted before starting this because look at his freaking jacket. That's really the only reason I adopted him. I mean, his hair is cool too. And his name is Randall. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool toddler. But I was curious to see if without helping Sims can take care of a toddler or not without him getting taken away. Which leads us to our last sim of the household, Dexter, who's already looking really sad and I'm pretty sure is gonna run away. So yeah, we have two adults, a toddler, an elderly person, and a dog. So I thought that was enough variety to see like, you know, if the kid gets taken away, if the dog runs away, if the elder, I don't know, overexerts himself and dies. I also put in a bunch of autonomous mods. I hope that they actually work together. Some of them being risky woohoo, traveling whenever they want, like the explore mod, autonomous proposals, breakups. That might be it. I don't know, I, I threw a bunch in. But I guess that's it. Uh, they do have a fireplace and a grill and an oven. So both hoping and not hoping that they burn the house down. Hoping because that would be hilarious if I came back to the house being burnt down. But not hoping because that would probably be a really quick storyline to go through when we check back in. All right, so I'm gonna have it paused and we're gonna do the ceremonial unpausing and leaving this game. All right, Sims, this is all on you. Please don't die. Please don't get your child and dog taken away from you. Elderly granny, whatever happens to her or him, I, I just, I, I don't really care about that. <laughs> Basically, good luck not having any advice or guidance from your overlord, me. All right, we are unpausing. I, I hope my editor made that epic somehow. <laughs> Cause it, it wasn't pretty, it wasn't very epic in the game. All right, so I'm going to go to bed and hang out for the rest of the night. And in the morning, I'm gonna come back and pause it until I can record with you guys. So with that, uh, goodbye and good luck.
Okay, as you can see, it is the next day. And that's why I have a completely different hairstyle. I mean, my shirt is still the same, but that's just because I'm a dirty person. No, in all seriousness, I just took it off, put it to the side so I could put it back on for the rest of this video today. But anyway, I left this running for a long time. And before filming, I came back and I paused it, but I kept the walls on the house completely up, keeping the roof on so I could try not to see into the house yet. I was trying not to pay attention to anything so we could go through it together. I'm hoping something happens. Like, please just let something happen. At the last second, I ended up adding in the extreme violence mod. So yeah, that may have made it a bit more interesting. I'm just hoping I don't open this house and it's just all pee and garbage. All right, so first up, before we go into the house and unpause this again, let's see if everybody's still alive in our family. No! <laughs> Okay, well, because regular adult dogs can't die, I'm assuming he got taken away. Uh, Granny is not looking so good. S very uncomfortable. Bobby is sad. Why? He's lonely. <laughs> okay, and why? Oh, he's hungry. Okay. Granny was stressed because they're ravenous, exhausted, filthy, desperate for fun, and fire is out. Okay, so there was a fire. Uh, good to see everybody's still alive. Lauren's also sad because she's lonely. Uh, I'm dirty. I'm hungry. I'm a firefighter. I had a happy moment. I combated a cold and I was loved from tucking in a toddler. Oh, good to see you were a good parent, just not a good dog owner, apparently. And Randall is also not doing so good. Desperate for fun. Ravenous. Oh no. Oh, I think Randall's on the verge of being taken away as well. Grungy and just where is everyone? So everybody's just super lonely. <laughs> so basically how this is gonna work is we're gonna pull up the notification wall and scroll back. I cleared it out before I started this so that I could keep track of what happened while I was not here. And then using the notification wall, we're gonna be piecing together what happened while I was not at the computer and not controlling my Sims. And maybe by the end of this, the Sims will realize that it is me that makes their lives good. And without me, they're just clearly falling apart. All right, let's open the house. First floor, everything's super dark, but seems okay. Second floor, super dark, okay. The kitchen is charcoal. Whoa, that was a huge, whoa, that was a huge fire. What? Wow, okay, wow, it got to the bathroom, okay. There's disgusting food everywhere. Oh, and uh, the grill caught fire as well. So I guess there was two fires while we were gone. All right, let's 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 start this journey. Okay, we learned that Granny is evil. I mean, clearly, look at Granny. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a dead, okay. Somebody died. Granny, um, I don't know what uh, they've been up to, but they're disgusting. There's an, uh, Bentley, who's Bentley? <laughs> Who's Bentley? All right, uh, Bobby looks okay. And I'm hiding under the covers, so I have no idea what I look like. I guess I'll just let it play while I'm reading what happened. All right, we have Bobby reach parenting level. What the heck is, what is happening? Is Granny attacking us? Granny is straight up attacking us. Whoa, what happened to Bobby's hair? What? And he's uh, passed out. What just happened? Oh, is that part of extreme violence? Oh my God, I think Granny snatched Bobby's weave. What? I didn't know you could actually take Sim's hair off. Will it grow back? Oh, poor Bobby. He's even more sad. Look at him, like, what happened to your hair, dude? Oh, couldn't make it to the bed? You gonna make it to the bed? They're all dying, guys. They're all dying. All right, we'll just let them continue to live there. What is that? Oh, Bobby's cowering in fear. Also, why are there three random smelly hot dogs in the kids' room? And an urn in the kids' room. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Talk like a pirate day was awful. Okay. Talk like a pirate day is over. Granny was like, uh, it wasn't awful. I'm just glad it's over. Uh, what? Gang joined. Granny has joined the Thotties gang. What? What? <laughs> I love how I just have this random old person living with us. What are they doing? You're a granny! I'm pretty sure that they were twerking. Anyway, granny has joined the Thotties gang. Granny will now contribute to their acts autonomously. Oh no. You can disable the autonomy. Well, why would we do that? This video idea is all about autonomy. Be aware members from other gangs will haunt and kill granny if she killed a member of their gang. Okay, he acquired the mischief skill. Okay, Granny danced. Bobby is being hit up 
for celebrity stuff to promote TV dinner. All right, well, I'm guessing you didn't do that. I was a good parent. My spotlight is fading. I updated my social media status and I apparently have over 11 million followers. Wow. Dexter is hungry. You can help him by giving him a treat or filling a food bowl. Oh no. Dexter is running away. He will make his way home eventually, but posting an alert via computer or phone will help find him sooner. Well, I'm assuming they didn't do that because I don't know if they do that autonomously. Randall is very hungry. Be sure to feed him before he gets taken away. That was a while ago. He's still here. I owe a lot of money to the utility company and they're going to turn off my power. Well, I can see that happened. Oh God, bad reputation. When attempting to make friends with new Sims, there's a chance that they'll have already heard of Granny's disreputable actions, thus starting their relationship off on the wrong foot. That said, should she happen to introduce- Oh, it's she! Okay, we know, we know now. Happen to introduce herself to other troublemakers, they're likely to immediately hit things off and become best friends. Ooh, I'm getting hit up by ad agencies, yeah! Apparently I said, oh my god, is that a twerking garbage bag? Wow, technology did get advanced. Am I talking about Granny? Is that why she's bullying us? Because I said her twerking was terrible? Oh, Bobby's hair grew back! We're both just living in fear in this house with this random old granny that we don't know. Oh god. Reputation status of violent sim. Granny has done some violent acts in front of other sims. Sims who witness granny's violent acts might confront her or curse at her when they see her. What did she do? What did you do, granny? And then she acquired the cooking skill. Oh, pfft. But, um, I wonder who caused the fire. It goes, Granny acquired a cooking skill, but then all of a sudden, oh, oh, when Granny discovered the fire, who could have caused the fire? All right, which fire was this? The giant one or the small one? I only got 520 simoleons, so I'm assuming and hoping it's the small one or else I got gypped by the insurance company. I updated my social media status, you know, probably telling people about the old crazy lady that I live with. Uh oh, wait, Bobby, who's still bald in the notifications. Wait, like, can I refresh that? Oh, there we go. Okay, his hair's back. A police cruiser has been dispatched to your current location. Please stay away from any society suspected sims and hide in a safe spot until the police arrives. What happened? Maybe Bobby called the police because Granny was abusing them and he was trying to get the police to stop her? Okay, oh god. What's your emergency? So either we got a ghost police officer or Granny may have killed them. Oh, Granny? Granny Horror has murdered Bentley. Okay, we figured out who Bentley is. Is Bentley the police officer? Oh, and then Granny got an awful reputation. Having an awful reputation can have its benefits. And then apparently I called the police. A police cruiser has been dispatched to your current location. What's your emergency? Okay, well this police officer is alive. Randall is very hungry. Be sure to feed him before he gets taken away. They just keep trying to take him away, but they can't. Why is Granny not in jail? All right, we'll, we'll try that later. Let's try to send her to jail at the end of this. Dexter has returned! Make sure to welcome them back. Well, uh, he's not my family anymore, so... I don't know what happened to him after that. Me and Randall became good friends. Oh, there was another fire. I discovered the fire. I discovered the fire again. 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 Okay, well, I'm assuming it's this huge fire. And I don't know if I was just frantically running around the house trying to stop it. Oh, and then we received uh, 1,864 simoleons as insurance payment. Great. Oh no, Dexter is being taken away by the pet care worker. No. De oh God. Oh, it's pulling me. Oh, oh my God. We just lost. We just lost the toddler. <laughs> we just lost the toddler as I was reading about Dexter getting taken away. It didn't even give me a notification. Oh, because I'm on the notification wall. <laughs> Child whisked away. I mean, that makes sense. Wow. I was literally just saying like, they keep trying to take away, but they can't. Sims was probably like, oh yeah? Is that what you think? Yank. All right, we'll get to that notification when I get to the top. And then the power company shut off our power. Wow, it's just been one bad thing. We, first we called the cops on our granny. That didn't go well, because I'm assuming granny killed one of them, and then like somehow she's still not in jail. Then we had a fire. Then our dog got taken away from us. Then our power got shut off. Lauren and Granny now despise each other. Ah, 
Ah, well, I mean, that makes sense. Exposed! Attention, everyone, this woman will attack you. Be careful when she's around. Wow, blown up Granny's spot. Granny and Lauren had spies each other. Yep. Oh, we're back at the top. Due to neglect, Randall is being whisked away to safety. Maybe you should consider a goldfish before jumping into parenthood again. So basically, every terrible thing that could have happened to my Sims happened except for one of them dying. But technically, Granny may have killed a police officer. I need to see this go down because I don't think I've ever used the cop functionality. That might be new of the extreme violence mod. So I want to see if we can have a happy ending to this story and get rid of this psychotic granny old person that's randomly living in our house against our will. Okay, Sim Lauren, wake up. Okay, we gonna call the cops. Oh God, what's happening? Beat up! <gasps> oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, we gotta call the cops. We gotta call the cops right now. Call the police! Call the police! A police cruiser has been Oh, I do not look good in the notifications now. Police! Help! Oh, there they are. Okay. Hey, police. Police. Report Sim. This person! Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. They can't get in? They can't get in the house? Uh-oh. Oh, they're very confused. Wait a minute. They can't get in the house? Why can't- Oh, I'm coming out. Oh, oh, he's crying. He's crying because I got beat up. Go get her. There he goes. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, Bobby, did you get your weave snatched again? We got to get rid of this old lady. She's crazy. Oh, God. Oh, who's this? Is this Bentley? It's Bentley! Oh, it's Bentley! Oh, here comes the police officer. I'm kind of scared what's going to go down. Uh oh, oh, Granny's seducing him. And then he just decided not arrest Granny. Stop! Stop being seduced by Granny, police officer. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Oh, wait. He just handcuffed her. Where did they go? You guys saw that, right? Ooh, in jail. Oh, she's in jail. <gasps> oh, what a happy ending. I mean, except for Bentley. Sorry, Bentley. And for Bobby's weave that got snatched. <laughs> Baby, it's over. She's gone. She's gone. See, don't worry. I will start controlling things again. Oh, look, we're so happy now that me, Overlord Sims Lauren, is now back in your lives. I have gotten rid of Granny for you. Your face will heal. I mean, it's really sad that Dexter's gone, but at least Granny's gone. Apparently, there's a time limit, though. Oh, and great. The ghost is ruining our bathroom. Fantastic. Thanks, Bentley. Also, uh, Granny seems to have a bunch of, like, red jello or ketchup up or something on her face. What the heck happened in jail, Granny? <laughs> I wonder if I just, do I, if I X out in jail? Well, she just, oh no. The heck was that? Oh, she's back. Fantastic. Great. Oh my god, a Tyron fight. What is happening? We're like, no, Lord, why would you do this? It's because I'm evil too. <laughs> you can't win. Whether you control your own lives or you let me, oh, Granny's twerking. Granny, Granny's twerking. Whether you try to control your own lives, Sims, or you let me control it for you. You just will never win. My Sim's trying to trash talk. Not only you ugly AF, but your twerking is straight garbage. You garbage. All right, well, there you have it. This is what happens when I accidentally, <laughs> accidentally leave my Sims unpaused. Uh, wow. Okay, okay, gra Granny, stop killing Bentley. <laughs> and then he just pops back up. He's like, I'm a ghost, okay? I'm a ghost lady. Oh, she's about to do it again. She's, she's about to do it again. It just keeps popping up with a notification that she killed him again and again and again and again. What did Bentley ever do to you? Okay, well, good thing I, I came in now. We're just gonna look at the outside of the house. There we go. There we go. We're just gonna pretend we have no idea what's happening in there. It's fine. So yes, leaving Sims to their own free will, as you can see, is always a mistake. Especially when you add in a bunch of autonomous mods that uh, make them do basically anything that they want. And we also learned that Sims cannot take care of pets or children children on their own. It's completely up to you to make sure that they don't get taken away or that your house doesn't burn down. Yay. That's gonna be it for this video. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this concept and if you still remember that it was my birthday two months ago, then make sure to leave a like before you go. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I put out new videos almost every single day. And as always, I will see you guys soon.